Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can utilize the Omniverse Live Sync feature to seamlessly preview your crowd simulations and transfer actors and motions to the USD Composer. The iClone Omniverse pipeline allows you to edit motions in real time and easily transfer data back and forth for an effortless production workflow. If you're not yet familiar with Omniverse Live Sync, please check out the Getting Started tutorial first. Let's start off with an overview of the basic setup and progressive texture loading. In Preferences, you'll want to enable the Manual Loading option under Progressive Texture Loading to reduce unnecessary calculations for the crowd. This will require an iClone restart, after which you'll see a Load Textures button in the viewport. In the NVIDIA Omniverse launcher, make sure that you've installed the USD Composer, Nucleus, Cache and Connectors. In the USD Composer, let's open up our warehouse scene then save it to the Omniverse server for use with LiveSync. In this case, we're using the localhost location. I'll reload the USD from there and add some environmental lighting to brighten up the scene. Before moving on, we also need to go to the Layer tab to switch the World Axis Z to Up, then save again. The next step is to connect LiveSync with the transferring reference mesh. To start, I'll copy the URL link from the USD file and then paste it into the Import USD panel in iClone. We're only going to transfer the prop now to get the positioning correct. Enabling auxiliary light in iClone gives us a flat visible scene lighting and ensures that we're not spending additional resources on lights and shadows in iClone. Open the Omniverse Live Sync panel and click on Live Session to prepare the connection, ensuring that the URL is the same as the target USD file. This will create a .live folder in USD Composer, after which you can ensure the toolbar icon is green in iClone, then press the Live button in USD Composer to initiate the connection. We can switch to the preview camera in USD Composer and see that the cameras are also synced. Now that we have our environment set up, let's generate our nav mesh to dictate where our actors can move around. In iClone Scene Manager, I'll hide everything aside from the floor and structure to optimize performance, and then generate the nav mesh from the toolbar button. It also generates a nav mesh on the roof as well, so we need to tweak the height and step height values lower to ensure it only generates on the ground floor. Next, it's time to generate our crowd, so I'll open up the Crowd Generation tool and pick the Nav Mesh as the Spawn Region. Next, you can adjust the various distribution parameters for your crowd and generate various combinations until you find the one you like. After that, simply drag in your preferred actors and IMDs from the Content Manager to their respective areas in the Crowd Generation window. If you're not familiar with this process, please refer to the dedicated tutorials to learn more about combining actors and IMDs in the ideal way. In this case, we want the actors to be frequently on the move, so it's important to adjust the relevant parameters to make it so in the IMD action settings. From there, you can deploy your chosen actors and use Generate Placement as many times as you'd like to generate a different crowd calibration. You can then hit the Start button to simulate the crowd via Motion Director. Once we have a satisfactory simulation in iClone, we can then move on to transferring everything to Omniverse. In the Omniverse Live Sync window, you'll notice that there are no characters in the transfer list, as all of the ones in our scene are currently set to Light Mode by default. So what you need to do is multi-select all of the actors in the Scene Manager, and then switch them to Edit Mode. Once you do, you'll see them appear in the Live Sync window. We don't need to transfer anything else, so I'll deselect the cameras, lights, and props, and start the transfer. Despite the textures not being loaded in iClone, they will be transferred when you are sending via Omniverse Live Sync. Once transfer is complete, you'll want to switch your actors in iClone back to light mode to minimize resource consumption. Then you can go ahead and preview the animation in USD Composer by using the MD Start button in iClone.
From there, you can switch the start mode to record selected in the MD controls panel, then select all of your actors and start the recording. Just a reminder that you won't see any motion clips in the timeline here because the actors are all currently in light mode, so you'll need to switch them to edit mode. From there, you can click on the motion clip and use the button in the timeline to set the end frame of your project to that length. Then in the Omniverse Live Sync panel, we can transfer once again, but this time we're going to select motion. And as you can see, our range is automatically synced to the project length we just set in the timeline. Once you transfer, the motions will apply to their corresponding characters in the USD Composer. Once the transfer is complete, you can open up the timeline in the USD Composer and play back to check the results. If you find that a character is not moving, you can switch the FPS to refresh the timeline and try playback again. For best visual results, you can switch to path tracing mode. Naturally, you need to wait a bit longer for the full scene loading with this mode, but you can already see that the visual results are exceptional. Be aware that if you exit a live sync session, you'll be prompted to fetch your characters when you shut down iClone. Please do so to ensure the best functionality should you want to re-establish the link later for further editing. You'll also need to update the timeline settings in USD Composer. The Omniverse Live Sync Pipeline is a super cool way to bring the next level of visual quality to your iClone projects complete with crowd simulations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.